Good evening. Hi, Roxy. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Fine. Good. 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 How was your day today? Um, very, very busy. Yeah? Yes. I'm sure. I'm working, but now yeah <laughs> oh, I mean, but in my house oh okay okay oh, okay my house, right. i have a, a lot of tasks to do oh wow so you're you're, you're multitasking uh, incredible today it was very tired <laughs> oh i i i totally understand yes i totally get it i it's been a, a tough day for me as well mm -hmm. but, you know yeah it's just part of Part of you the know, joke. Things that we have to do. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. And, and how how was your class? Your class is better said because I think you have many, right? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow I, I I have the class and today I was preparing uh, the the class, huh? <laughs> the presentation, the PPT. Oh, but it's very hard. Uh, to prepare topics because I, I had to investigate uh, yeah. the terms and you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I <laughs> totally <laughs> get you. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And besides, I have uh, my uh, my other activities of the university. university. So um, today ha has been a, a, a big day, a long, long day too. <laughs> mm, I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and you, what time do you do you begin to teach? Um, well, actually, uh, right now, um, okay. See, I I have <laughs> a very busy schedule right now. Um, I begin work at seven in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, that well. I, I'm doing a little bit of everything right now, so mm -hmm. it's um, it's very busy because I I finish one job and then I have uh, private classes and mm -hmm. I have this class right now. So you mm -hmm. know, it's a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's 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 um it's a challenge. And on top of that, you you know, I have my son to take care of. Oh, and, yeah. Um, are you a mother too? <laughs> yeah, I'm a mother, and yeah. uh, it's it's um it's difficult. And then I have things that in, in at here in, in my house to do. You know, yes. So, mm -hmm. You know, it's. Good evening. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Good evening. Hello, Hi, good evening, Daniel. Hi, Hi. And Daniel. I have a good sound. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> 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 yes, you're the monster sound more. <laughs> okay, all right, good. Um, how are you, Daniel? How was your day? Oh, teacher, I'm being very busy today. Mm. It's it's normal, but uh, I start uh, around five thirty a.m. and. Uh, I have almost 15 hours working. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. You're doing and, a marathon. After the, and after this English class, I have to come back to, to my work? office. To the office? To work. My home office. Oh, here. but OK, so, OK. You're in yes, I inter office, yes, least, I inter yes, I Yes, I inter my, my chair. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so right now you're with us. This year in yes. class, and then you turn around yes. and you are at work. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh -huh. for the for the other side, I have the the how do you say? Se me olvidó cómo dice comedor. Oh, a dining room. Dining room. Yes. So, in the same place, I have a, a lot of things. Yeah, I know this, I, I've been very this pandemic has really made us, uh, wow, our life has really changed, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, it's true. That's, that's life. Okay, and Grace, how are you, Grace? Hi, uh, I'm pretty good today. Uh, also, uh, 
maybe a little bit uh, less busy than Daniel, but uh, I've been working uh, in making uh, like an action plan in that uh, the audit department asked to us, and today was the last day to send send it to them. So um, I've been working on that the, the, the whole day and now I'm ready. I already did it. I have to enter it in the system. So um, in review with them and then uh, say um, if it's okay or not. And until they uh, tell us that it's green, uh, I can feel like uh, relaxed after that and after uh, this uh, report, I have 90 days to uh, make it make it happen <laughs> with the whole team. So um, it's very challenging, challenging this um, this work uh, for me. But I I I be I finish for today. <laughs> I can hear you. Good. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're finished, but you're still in your office, Grace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can see your office in the background. Maybe someday. <laughs> I will. <laughs> that would, yeah, that would be wonderful. I would love to have an office yeah. like that. It, imagine the view, you know, you'd, you wouldn't be stressed, you'd be no. very relaxed. But it's dangerous because mm -hmm. something uh, goes wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, especially in El Salvador with all of the yeah. earthquakes. Yeah. No, yeah, that, that, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that in El Salvador. Yeah, we'll be yeah. great. That's true. And Josue, how are you today, Josue? No. Well, uh, everything was fine today. So, uh, well, I normally on Wednesday I have a lot of meetings. Uh, and after uh, afternoon, uh, I have a meeting that that is for two hours. And normally we check uh, our changes or something like that uh, on what we are working on. So I I presented all of the all of my proposals and things like that. So uh, that's it. Uh, the Wednesdays. I think for me uh, it's very quick because uh, I don't feel uh, that I work really because of the meetings. So if if only on meetings and meeting uh, and another meeting again. So and so. On. But um, yeah, I understand. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hi, Selena. <laughs> okay. Good to see you, Selena. And Rock and uh, Jesus, how are you, Jesus? Good evening, teacher. I apologize for not being in class yesterday, but I go to work on the platform and I lost track of time. And about my day has been busy because I go for years document requirement and I have been looking for all documentation. And I, I, I didn't feel the time. Okay, all right, no problem, Jesus, uh, we understand. And I actually thank you for uh, working on the platform because we actually talked about the platform yesterday. Uh, I asked everybody what was the progress that everybody was doing because um, I was explaining that part of the, uh, or better said, pretty much the end result of this course should be um, to finish the platform. And um, you have pretty much until the 16th of this month to finish it. So um, that's not that much. So it's okay. Don't worry about it. If you couldn't be in class, at least I'm, I'm happy that you were able to um, uh, to um, to do the, the exercises um, in the platform. That's the most important part. In fact, um, let me just...
Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, I had some people that I wanted to ask um, if they had worked on the platform. Um, let's see. Jose, Jose is not here? No, right? He's probably working on the platform. Okay. Nubia too, she's not here. She's probably working on the platform as well. Um, Ceci, I can't see Ceci either. Okay. Okay, so those were the ones that I was very worried about. Oh, um, also Please. Selena. Selena, did you have an opportunity to work in the platform? Yes, but only finish the exercise number um, 1.2. Mm -hmm. And the 1.8, I finished, but I have uh, any errors in the number two and number four. You have any error, like you don't, you don't have any errors in 1.2? No. Or 1.8? Was finished the 1.2. Oh, you finished 1.2, okay. And then yes. 1.8? I have um, e er error in number four and five. Okay, four and five, okay. Okay, all right, guys. Um, I when I when I finish this exercise, uh, one point eight, I I will finish the unit one. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Um, class, uh, I wanted to mention some things. Um, like I said before, uh, it's important for you guys to work on the platform. Uh, remember that this class is. Um, like less than half of the class is uh, is for, um, like virtual classes. And the other part of the class that is the most important part is the platform. So I'm very happy that the, mo that, uh, the majority of you have already started, uh, but remember that we need to finish by next Friday. You have basically until next Friday to complete the course. So it's not very much time. We only have about nine days. So um, now what I will do is the following. I ask you guys to um, go ahead and, and, and send me the exercises that you were having problems with. Um, but I, I don't, um, I mean, I really didn't get that from, from the majority of you. So what I'm gonna do is simply I know that some the majority of you were having problems with 1.2. So I just want to make sure that everybody does understand 1.2. Um, and then we'll continue with the other ones. Um, okay, so let me start over here. Uh, we're gonna be I'm gonna be sharing my screen. Okay, do you guys, um, can you see right now my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. So you guys said that 1.2 was the one that, we're, that you were having problems with, right? Okay, let's just wait till it loads. And from 1.2, you were having problems with number four, five, and six, right? That Those were the exercises that I, I wrote down, but um, I'm not sure if I got them right. Yeah? Four, five, six? Yeah. 
Yes, no, maybe. Uh, 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 <laughs> In my case, I finished number one point two. Thank you. Me too. Okay, uh, who is having troubles with 1.2? I finished it, George. You finished? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So do I. Yeah, everybody is okay with this one? Yes. Okay, all right. In that case, guys, Tell me which one you're having problems with. So that I can help you with. I finished, I finished that part, teacher. Thank you. I was finished all exercise in this in this point. Okay, that's fine. But I want to know what sec like which other section that you okay. would like me to look at. Okay, so guys, um, I understand that you guys are finished with those sections. Which other section are you having problems with? Other than, so I know you had, yesterday you told me 1.2, but it seems like everybody worked on 1.2 and you're finished. So tell, now tell me which one are you having trouble with that I can help you with right now in class? Like they say in Spanish, aprovechenme. The lesson one and lesson two, uh -huh. I finished two. Uh -huh. Sorry? The lesson one and two, we finished two. Okay, section one and section two, you finished? Yes. All of the sections? Yes, yes, yes. Me too. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is that everybody or? Is there anybody that, that that needs help? Because this is the moment where I can help you. Or like they said, weddings. Speak now. Yesterday I, I had, piece. Yesterday I had a, a, a lot of doubts, but I, I, I request help with Gracia and Roxy. They helped me how I had to to fix some sentences because I couldn't, I couldn't, or I didn't, I didn't alone. But okay, I, I, I okay. that's fine, that's fine. You can go ahead and ask for help and if, they, if people help you, excellent. But what, I'm, what I want to know is not just are you finished, but do you understand it? Because um, one thing is to get your, the answers correct and put it in the in the system and boom, it's right. And the other the other thing is to understand it. So what I want to know is there anything that you need me to clarify because you're not understanding? No? So all eight of you, all everybody that's here is um, clear with the exercises. Yes. Yeah, like your chat teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Thank nothing you. you need me to work on. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. In that case, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue there with um, our presentation, our PowerPoint presentation that I had for today. Um, Okay, so two days ago, I asked um, everybody to um, write some news stories that you had seen, you know, in the news recently or something like that. So, um, 
what we're going to do, we're going to be right now reporting your news story. So I want you, the idea with this activity was for you to use not only news vocabulary that we saw yesterday, but also to use the present perfect to um, begin the story. And then from the rest, the, the rest of the story, when you were talking about the details of the story, you would go ahead and write in the simple past. Do you, did you, um, did you have any problems with that? No? No. Okay. All right. In that case, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide you guys into, um, into groups. Since I have seven of you, I'm going to divide you into um, three groups. So we'll have two partners and one group of three. And I want you to tell your partner about the new story. Um, now, I don't want you to limit yourself to just, um, just telling the story. I want you to be able to also um, ask your partner questions about the story. Okay, so, so if your partner tells you something about, I don't know, a story like, um, you know, a, a, a satellite has been, has been launched into, the, into space. Um, it was launched last week uh, and um, it, uh, it, was, it was informed um, about blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I not only to say that, but also ask more questions. For example, um, where was the satellite launched from? And blah, 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 all those questions, okay? Got it? Yeah? Okay. Hey, excuse me, oh, one question. Yeah. What, okay, what is the topic about talking? Okay, two days ago, Selena, mm -hmm. I... I assigned a, uh, a piece of homework, which was uh, why well, I put it in the in the chat. Um, uh, that you have excuse to... me, but I I I wasn't in the chat. Excuse me. Oh, you weren't in the mm -hmm. chat, but you are in yes. the chat now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Um, were you were you in class two days ago, Selena? Were you in class on Monday? No, no. No? This, so you were this. in class yesterday, right? Yesterday, yes. Mm -hmm. But Sunday, Monday, no. Monday, no. Okay. Yeah, I also mentioned it yesterday um, that what you have to do is um, basically say a new story. I need you to tell a new story to your partners. Uh, any, any new story that you've heard of, right? Like it could be a news story um, on the on TV, um, in the radio, in the newspaper, on the internet. And you're going to start the story using the present uh, perfect. And all of the details of the story, you're gonna be using the simple past. Okay. Okay, Selena? Yes, thank okay. you. Wonderful. And your partner is going to listen to the story, but also ask questions about it. Uh, find more, find more information about it. Okay. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to divide you guys right now into the breakout rooms. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay, go ahead and join your breakout room.
Hi, Jesus. Are you having problems joining the breakout room? Okay. Uh, um, in the morning uh, of yesterday, they began to block the street because they were upset because the government never or or never paid the um, salaries. For example, mm -hmm. now you <laughs> another story. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, girls. Yes, sorry. Yesterday, hi, teacher. Hi, sorry, girls. Just sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you have any questions? Something I can help you with? Mm, no, no. Uh, just uh, we began to make the news story related with the the news yesterday in here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any so no, so you're okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank teacher. you. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, so, um, okay. continue, go, go ahead. No. Okay, thank you. Yesterday I heard a new story about the US president mm -hmm. saying that they really did not have corona, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He because uh, um, uh, they they found, uh, well, the, uh, the doctors, they found some uh, some security breach, so they uh, they took the advantage of of this of this issue and and they were able to uh, to make fall the system for a while. Wow! Well, how yeah. how much that's a that's mean in quantity uh, of money or? or Information? Morning, Did you lose? Maybe information? Did you lose information? Well, on money, probably mm, thousands, probably, yeah. Thousands, thousands of yeah. dollars, yeah. How, how long yeah, was the, we went down. the fail with the attack? Eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. yeah no, Eight awesome. hours was the time. Yes. Okay. Sorry, guys, to interrupt you. I yeah. just want to know. How are you doing? Do you have any questions? Any problems that you're facing? We are okay, um, I think so. Yeah, we are okay, teacher. So far we are good. Okay, good, excellent. All right. Thank so, you. Um, just continue that way and I'll come back in a moment. Okay, okay. sure. Okay, that is all, Joshua. Yeah, I think that okay. uh, I've explained <laughs> all. Yeah, I try. I try to say something. Go ahead. That it could be an extortion. Um, so mm. uh, these are the two um, hypotheses that that were analyzing um, for this uh, robbery. Nowadays, I think uh, it's common the extortion maybe could be an extortion 
because when the proprietary uh, didn't yes. pay the, the, the thief or extortionist person, uh, kill, kill him, kill him. Yes, that could be. Um, the police said that um, it was like a, a new business and that um, was uh, recently um, open at, at that um, city. And they think uh, that maybe uh, the owner, as you said, uh, Carmen, uh, didn't want to pay the rent and that could be the, the cause. All right, girls, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to know if there are any questions that you guys have, something you want to ask me. Well, I just wanna, want to ask that uh, if it's okay, um, if we uh, have uh, seen some uh, new in a video, in the TV or in the newspaper, it's okay to say that um, on the news they said, or I have to say uh, the girl of the news said that uh, something happened. I don't know if I can say it, um, on the news, they said, but because I'm saying on the news or at the TV or in the news. So that was a question that, that I was uh, thinking about because sounds uh, like a uh, rear, but strange, but in Spanish we say it that way, but I don't know that it is if that is correct in English. Okay, so your question is, uh, can you say on the news it said? That's your question? Yeah. On the news they or um, it said. Oh, okay, okay. Um, normally, um, okay, first of all, we would not say that on the news it said. Um, we would say um, if we're going to um, say on the news, we would probably say more they said because though in English when we don't know if the person is a, a, per, a man or a woman we normally just use the word they okay for example um I can I can ask you um what about your boss do they get um does your boss or better said um no Um, what about your boss? Are they very, is, is um, your boss uh, very angry? Are they, um, are they very um, strict with you? Right, Be and the word they, uh, mostly we use because we don't know if it's, it's a man or a woman, so we wouldn't say really he or she, right? Or okay. your teacher. Um, can you tell me about your teacher, do they, um, do they give you a lot of homework, right? So that's that's how we normally use it because it, the person who said it could be either a woman or a man. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the news, on the news they said, blah, 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 yes. blah, blah, right? Okay. Um, or you can say the news said, in that case. The news uh -huh. said. In that case, yes, it would be like it, but we wouldn't be repeating it because the news is a subject, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, teacher. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Okay, Veronica, Jesus, do you have any other questions? No, I don't have teacher. Okay. All right. Oh, teacher. Okay, Thank girls, you. wonderful. I will let you finish off. I'll give you one more minute and then you come back to the main room. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And talking about the robbery, er, do you
Okay, welcome back class. Uh, were you able to practice with your partner? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Have. Did you have any yeah. questions? Yes. Okay. Is there anything you want to ask me? No, really, teacher. No, you're fine. No, no. I just I, I I think that I we need to practice a little bit. I personally, in my way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Conversation. Yeah. And, that's, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So what I want you to do is the following. Um, okay, I'm going to share the whiteboard. Tell me when you can see the whiteboard. Have you guys, can you see the whiteboard? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so what I want you to do right now, you're gonna be asking, you're gonna write in your notebook some questions, okay? Um, you're gonna say, for example, have you ever So you're gonna start with this question. Have you ever, and you're gonna be using, basically, what, what is the name of this tense? Guys, what is the name of this tense? If I say to, have you ever, for example, have you ever um, slept in a tent? What is the name of that tense? Anybody? Okay, have you ever? Mm -hmm. What is the name of that tense? Past perfect. It's not the past perfect, but the present perfect. Present. Exactly. Very good. Present perfect. Present. Okay, good. So basically, I'm going to um, make my sentences with the present perfect. For example, have you ever? and then you can complete it with your own ideas here, okay? Um, like, a, to give you an example, have you ever slept, oh, let me change that to the past. Okay, have you ever slept in a tent? Right? Or have you ever ridden a horse, et cetera, et cetera, right? Have you ever, um, I don't know, taken a course or no, taken a cooking course, example, okay? So on. So I want you to create um, three questions, okay? Three questions and um, in your notebook right now. Three questions, so that shouldn't take you very long.
Okay, you guys ready? You have three questions? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna divide you again into the breakout rooms. And this time, what you're gonna do is ask your partner these questions, okay? So you're gonna say to your partner, have you ever, and then your partner, is, like for you, have, for example, have you ever slept in a tent? Have you ever ridden a horse? Have you ever taken a cooking course? Now, what happens, what, what are the possible answers that your partners can give you? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Another possible answer? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. And you can say, and I would. And I didn't like to, maybe. Or no, I haven't, but I would really like to. Okay. Now, so, um, Now, if your partner answers, yes, I have, though, what I want you to do is ask your partner more questions, okay? Ask your partner questions about, for example, okay, if your partner says, if you ask the partner, have you ever slept in a tent? And your partner says, yes, I have. Um, you're going to ask more questions like, oh, when did you do that? Uh, who did you go with? Were you by yourself? Or did you go with friends, family, et cetera, et cetera? So the next questions you would ask would be detailed questions. So for the detailed questions, what tense would we use? When? When? Okay, that, those would be the question words. But what would be the, the name of the tense? when you're asking about details? And you're happy with this one. We're gonna use the? Mm -hmm. Simple present. Exactly. Simple? Present. Nope, not present. No. Future. Um, simple? Future. Simple? Uh -huh. Okay, but if your partner says, have you ever, if you ask your partner, have you ever slept in a tent? And they say, yes, I have. Okay, then go ahead and ask more questions. Okay, you can okay. go ahead and ask more questions and the questions would be in the simple past. For example, really, you can say really? When? Uh, for, so, for example, when? Really, when, when did you sleep in a tent? Did you sleep in a tent? Did you sleep? That, that's a simple past. Or for example, really, who did you go with? Who did you go with? Okay. And then your partner, of course, is going to be answering in the simple past as well. Okay. So you say, your partner would say, uh, for example, um, I... Uh, did it last year, for example, I went with my family, example, okay? So notice here we're using the simple past to answer the question. Okay, does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. good. All right, so again, I'm going to break you off into breakout rooms. If you're having any problems, just let me know. Um, and the idea, remember, is to use the present perfect to ask about the questions about experiences and the simple past to ask about 
details and give details, okay? So let me break you off into breakout rooms again. Um, okay, here we go. Ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you and have your... what? What? Uh, what would you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I did. And what would you expect? Mm -hmm. Uh, for for this for this experience, do you think uh, that you will um, you will love or not? Because remember, sushi is kind of uh, raw fish, so. And yes. there are a lot of people that not like the fish uh, when it's raw, so. Mm, I'm not sure because uh, I'm not sure really, but I, I don't know how, how is the taste, the taste, taste. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's really, it's good. Uh, it's not wow, but it, I think it's good. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I encourage you to, to do so. Um, I think you will like, in my case, I like it, so. And which is your favorite, oh, okay. uh, Josue? Sorry? Which is your favorite? Uh, the restaurant or the, the sushi itself? The restaurant. Um, I went to Soho, yeah, Soho, Soho Las Cas. Uh, octopus, maybe. Uh, octopus. Have you ever seen an octopus? Uh, yes, but at the TV. <laughs> I've seen an octopus on TV. No, in person, in front. <laughs> no, just with a. Uh, I eat some cocktails. Okay. Simple, yes. Mm -hmm. I do ask, okay, thanks. I do ask uh, Celine. The most uh, similar to octopus uh, I, I saw is the mantarraya. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. where, where did you see mantarraya? Mm, 
Roatan. Ah, en Roatan. Uh -huh. Have you been there? When did you? Yes. Have you been there? Mm, yes. When have you been there? No. When have when you been there? When in December. Okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, Selena. When sorry to December. Interrupt, Selena. December. Uh, just December. Selena, sorry, I, I'm going to just interrupt a moment. Um, Daniel, just be careful. If you're going to be using uh, the present perfect, right? So you say, uh, when, uh, when you say, uh, when have you been there? Uh, remember, the when is a specific time. So ah. you're going to use the present perfect. Uh, you would say, when did you go? No, when have when, you been there? Ah, okay. okay. When did mm. you go there? Okay. Does that, does that make Thank sense? You. Yes, sure, sure. Does it make sense? I went last. Um, I went about ten years. Okay, class, how was the practice session? Very good. Very good practice. Nice teacher. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. Okay. Okay, oh. excellent. Good, um, thank you. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. Anytime. Okay, so how did you feel with this practice? Uh, did you understand it? Did you have problems with it? Any questions that came up? For me, it's useful to, to make these kind of exercises, mm -hmm. to practice vocabulary and, and conversation. Absolutely, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, any questions that came up during the, the, during the conversations? Did you understand how to do them? Were you having problems? No, a little confused in my case when and I, 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 I try to follow the, the conversation, but uh, I, I was confused with uh, present perfect and I have to use as what a simple past. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Yes, I was mentioning to Daniel when, when I went into the breakout rooms that I was noticing that he was asking a specific question about the time. He said, um when he he asked about the the word he said when for example and he used the present perfect so i was explaining to him that when uh you have a specific question about details like the time because when is for time then you're not going to be using the present perfect you're going to be using you're going to be using the simple past so if, 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 if your classmate tells you, um, yes, I, I, I ate um, snake, I have eaten snake before. And you want to know, really? You say, what, really, when? When did you eat? When did you eat snake? Oh, I ate snake uh, 10 years ago. Okay, so you're, when you're being as specific about specific details, especially when it's time, we're going to use a simple past, not the present perfect. Present perfect is only about um, experiences to report the news, but at the very beginning. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Thank you. You're yes. welcome. Okay. All right. So remember, never, never combine a specific time with this with the present perfect. Even in Spanish, it it doesn't happen in Spanish. For example, in Spanish, you say, 
eh, you say, uh, has, ¿alguna vez has ido a Europa? ¿Alguna vez has ido a Europa? And if I say to you, sí, uh, yo he, he ido a Europa. A Europa. Uh -huh. So that would be um, also the present perfect. But then when you ask details, you say, ¿cuándo fuiste a Europa? No, ¿cuándo has ido a Europa? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Yeah, so even, even in Spanish it happens. Cuando mm -hmm. fuiste a Europa. Yo fui el año pasado. No, yo he ido el año pasado. Uh -huh. right? It's the same idea. With uh, it's the same idea uh, that we do not mix a specific time with the present perfect. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. okay. Okay, guys. Well, that will be all for today. Incredible. Time has flown by. It just goes by so quickly. Um, okay, well, that will be all for today then. Guys, if you have any doubts, um, let me know on the on the chat. I would, I would really, really appreciate, guys, if you could let me know if you're having a, a problem with a specific activity. Um, let me know a little bit ahead of time so I can take a look at the activity and then go over it during the class. But um, tell me a little bit ahead, ahead of time. So um, preferably not a few minutes before the class because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult for me to, to help you with that. Um, so uh, let me know ahead of time and that way I can include it in, in the class, okay? Okay guys, that okay, will be you. all. Thank you. Take care uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, okay. teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. Bye.